The Tarsier is named... <laughs> Whoa! Hello there, Freaky. The Tarsier uses its powerful legs to jump and cling on to things with the aid of its padded and freakishly long fingers. It disguises itself in the forest by pretending to be a small teddy bear undergoing a colonoscopy. It blends in magically. You may not have noticed, but the Tarsier has very large eyes. They are in fact the largest in relation to its body of any mammal. Each one of its eyes is heavier than its brain, which might explain why it hasn't invented anything. The eyes are so big that they cannot rotate in their sockets. The Tarsier must stare straight ahead and swivel it. If you challenged a Tarsier to a staring contest, it wouldn't understand a word you said. But it would stare at you and you would think that was apropos. The Tarsier wouldn't really think anything and would probably just make a peepee. The Tarsier is the only entirely carnivorous primate, eating insects, rodents, reptiles, and small birds. Within one day of being born, the Tarsier can climb a tree. A human baby of the same age can do nothing. At four months old, the Tarsier... <laughs> it's too creepy. At four mo <laughs> Oh, God. What's over here? <laughs> Remember, always eat your vegetables or you'll look like a freaky, freaky little Tarsier. Today's geo quiz is The Nile River has two major tributaries. Name them. Hey, Cindy, today is February 1st, Friday, and here are your announcements. The Ohio State University at Lima is hosting a day to learn more about the first year engineering program. It will be Tuesday, February 5th, 2013. Please see your guidance counselor for more details. And the next blood drive of the school year is Friday, February 8th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the small gym. Pick up a permission form with Mr. Bickle and sign up online at www.donortime.com. The registration code for students and staff is 354. Students must be at least 16 years old and weigh 110 pounds or more. And all students must have a picture ID with their date of birth. And students who donate will get a free t-shirt. All Sydney High members that, all Sydney High students that donate at least three times will be able to wear red cords with their cap and gown. Students should eat a good breakfast and drink plenty of water before donating. Attention seniors. Senior patron ads for the 2013 yearbook are due to Ms. Klein by March 1st. If you would like to purchase an ad that includes a message from a parent and or guardian and additional pictures, pick up information outside A203 or in the office. Information was also given to you with yearbook picture information. All senior students must return the student information form for the yearbook to Ms. Klein by March 1st. That's March 1st. This includes your signature, correct spelling of your name, and your senior quote. And any student government member that would like to order a t-shirt should, should sign up on Mr. Bickle's door by the end of the day. And Sydney City Schools is hosting the 2013 Technology Expo on Saturday, March 2nd from 8.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. Anyone is welcome and there is no cost to get in. Topics will include iPad apps, Google, and YouTube, and much, much more. And senior night for the Jacket Bowlers will take place tonight during their match against Troutwood. The match will start around 4.30 at Belmar Lanes. The seniors being celebrated include Michelle Abbott, Ashley Harris, Allie Kittle, Shelby Anderson, Emily Hicks, Sam Sharp, and Devin Huffman. Stop on by and show your support. And the wrestling team will be in action at the G-Walk Tournament and that will be held at Van Butler today and Saturday. And the University of Toledo will be here to help students fill out applications or answer any questions to apply. They'll be here February 5th, 2013 at 8.30 in the Guidance Office Conference Room. Please sign up in the Guidance Office. And NHS help is needed. A tutor is needed during sixth period for any NHS member who has a study hall or is a student aide. 
Please see Mrs. Barden as soon as possible. And secondly, there is a huge need for helpers this Sunday from 2 to 5 p.m. at the skating rink. They really need help cleaning the skates so the rink can open soon. There are about 200 pairs still to clean and only about two weeks to get them done. See Mrs. Thorne today or tomorrow if you are willing to help. Except you can't see her tomorrow because it's Saturday, so today. And attention juniors and seniors. Are you aware that after prom doesn't exist without your parents? It takes many junior and senior parents to host after prom. Letters have been mailed to your parents encouraging them to donate their time and talents and letting them know that the first meeting is Tuesday at 7.30 in, a room, in room A103. Please encourage your parents to help make this year's after prom a success. Uh, congratulations to Ryan Stallings, a 10th grader who has been selected a winner as one of six students in his grade level in the statewide American Legion Americanism and Government Testing Contest. Congratulations to the Social Studies Department at Sydney High School and also to Sydney Middle School and elementary grades where it all began. Sydney American Legion Post 217 has had 23 state winners since the program began and 19 of those are from Sydney High School. Congratulations. Student searches internet for random quote. We are only as strong as we are united and as weak as we are divided. J.K. Rowling. Did you know that in Montana there are three times as many cows as there are humans? <laughs> Have a good day, Sydney High.